So it's just over a year ago uh, that United Utilities got involved with working uh, with the TCAT for schools across Warrington, um, thinking about how we could pull together a challenge um, to support their young people in thinking about engineering and STEM type subjects, but in real life work environment. Um, together we created um, a fantastic challenge uh, where young people in teams have had to look at a number of different challenges in the engineering um, arena which has kind of spanned all elements of engineering from building design, um, costing, thinking about the environmental impacts, the people impacts, um, uh, which has been great to see. One of the main benefits of the partnership is to, is to really show what um, to, to the pupils of these schools what engineering can do for them. I think it's encouraged them to start thinking about is it a career that they would like to do. And the benefit for United Utilities is, is that it could be the engineers of the future you know, taking over my job. I think in terms of uh, TCAT um, it has been a fantastic opportunity to be involved with uh, United Utilities. Obviously we're a brand new multi-academy trust and it is about ensuring that all our young people have as many opportunities um, as possible. So obviously the partnership with United Utilities is just one of the lines that we're exploring, especially from the STEM angle and making sure that our young people have access and opportunities within the work, uh, the engineering uh, environment to make sure that they are able to have not just experiences but to be able to draw on those experiences for them in kind of future careers or future pathways to have that real hands-on experience I think is very important. I think sometimes you can educate young people about careers, information, advice and guidance and what's out there be it engineering companies, be it um, journalism, be it at law whatever it is but for me and for the students I think it is the best experience that they can get is actually being part of a project. And already we've seen some great things um, that obviously young brains can come up with uh, without uh, any thoughts about kind of implementation <laughs> along the way. Um, so uh, we've also wanted to do this as I said before to think about um, work readiness uh, which is something that um, certainly I'm very passionate about and at UU we've seen as we are recruiting apprentices and graduates and other young individuals into our organisation is something that can really stand them out from the crowd through that assessment process. We wanted to make it difficult for the kids, we wanted them to struggle because I think when, when they struggle with the challenge they really find something out uh, about themselves and about the team and how they interact with each other which is you know really important part of growing up and becoming a you know a model professional that uh, you know we aspire for our children to be. So across the you know the Academy Trust um, you know w these children were selected because they've got an interest in engineering, but engineering is such a wide field we didn't know where it would take us and I think one of the really important benefits has been showing to the, to the pupils involved uh, some of the different aspects they can be involved in engineering uh, that they pro probably hadn't considered before. It really shows the benefit of STEM activities like this because loads of the kids had said they hadn't really considered engineering before but they've enjoyed it so much and, you know, since doing the, the task that they're actually looking into it now. So. You know, and and the girls as well, where maybe they wouldn't would have shied away from engineering. Now that they've actually had a go at it and enjoyed it, they've seen that it is accessible for all. And you know, if they wanted to in the future go for it, I don't think that they would shy away from it. I think what's been very successful about today is that the fact that they've come out of their own environments, um, that they are made to feel, dare I say it, uncomfortable. Um, it's a big daunting task when you're presenting to a judging panel um, and you have to present your idea with clarity uh, and you have to say how your idea is going to make a difference um, and you are presenting to kind of industry experts um, and other people who really know really know the stuff really. Just the presentations today is something that, that I think most of us would find daunting anyway um, and obviously for them doing that to a panel of people they don't know is certainly a tough gig um, but the rising to the challenge it's great to see and I've, we've certainly already spotted some fantastic future leaders uh, in the groups that we've seen so far today.